contractor this job. Now, it isn't any of my business what your fight with the Division of Highways is. I just warn you, don't fight with me. Now, that's my uke pole down there. Now, how about letting one of these men come down there and drive it off your property? You can have your uke pole when you run that road 100 yards to the right of my property and not before. Do you have to use that gadget to make you sound important? I can hear you. Mr. Darcy, I'm Holcomb, Highways Division Engineer in charge of this project. Now, I'm sorry that one of our drivers parked the equipment on your front lawn. That was a mistake. But that doesn't give you the right to build a fence around it in the middle of the night. I bought this truck of land to be mine. The law guaranteed it was mine. You can change the law, but you can't change my rights. Get in there and take that rifle away from him. Look, if that's his porch, that's his rifle. There's nothing I can do till after he shoots one of us. Yeah, well, this is costing me $3,000 a day. Well, what are you his lawyer for if you can't make him do things? Well, I'm his lawyer and his cousin, Mr. Willis, but I'm on your side. Uh, let me explain to my client that... You explain can... to him that I'll get the militia oh, out now, here. Now, will that really be necessary? He's a little peculiar, always has been, but he can be handled. They catch more flies with honey than vinegar, you know. Adam, every member of our family is hanging his head in shame. Jeff said to me the other night, Orrin, he said, why can't Adam be sound and sensible like you? What's her first name? Sweet Thing. Her true legal name is Sweet Thing. Sweet Thing. Hey, Sweet Thing, would you mind coming up here a minute? Yeah, I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to talk some sense to you. Sweet Thing, come back here. Tom! Tom! Come out here and drag her back in the house! Tom, come out here! I don't think old Tom hears you. In fact, we don't have no cook anymore, Mr. Stubborn Darcy. We don't have nobody. You just wear yourself out doing nothing. Oh, Tom lit out of here hours ago as soon as he found out he had to do everything and he was alone. <laughs> Get up there and fix it. Oh, you are comical. I hate you right down to the grizzle, but you do make me laugh. You're comical. Comical! Hey, you got any men up there? Come and get them! How are you afraid of his rifle? He's only bluffing. Sweet thing. <laughs> Sweet poison. Real he-men. Sweet thing. You still think I'm bluffing? You point that thing away from me. Now, you get in that house. I got a hunch you boys could use a little extra change. Huh? Well, how about it? Well, come on. All you got to do is grab him from the sides, and maybe from the rear, and grab the rifle. Now, come on, Willis. Well, what about it? Come on, let's hear some volunteers. It's a quick five bucks a piece. Look, Willis, these men are here under the honor system, and I'm responsible for every one of them. Now, every man here is up for parole. All right. All right, forget it. If it don't rain soon, I'm going to go out of my mind. 